morning. Uh, I recently purchased a Pro Pure Gravity Pull Dripper, Gravity Gripper water filtration system. This is it. Now, I'm sorry you missed the video on us unpacking the, the Pro Pure and putting it together because it was about an hour long and my husband and I unpacked it and put it together. It's really simple, but when you become a little bit older, packaging is harder to open, threading things up uh, is sharper, it's just harder to get along with. And uh, we got it together. I wanted to show you that so that, two or three reasons, because my daughter had a Pro Pure, tastes great, works fantastic, and I was wanting to really share with y'all about how good it is. Well, I evidently, I may have overfilled it, or I uh, have a leak. It was a scratch and dent one. I looked at everything, I washed it, just like the instructions said. I tested it. It's been up since Thursday, and today's Monday. It tastes great. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's Pro Pure. Mine's a Pro Pure uh, 304, and it's the stainless steel. But I walked by a while ago and happened to look at the countertop because since we've had our new home, uh, we have this, uh, I guess it's granite, and it's got many designs in it. But every time you look at an angle, you can see a piece of dirt or a piece of cracker, wet breadcrumbs, whatever it is. And I'm just always trying to keep it clean because that's what I see as I walk through, I see that. So I walk through and here is this big pot of water. And I'm like, well, did I do that? You know, what is it? So I wipe it up and it's still leaking around here. And we can't have it sitting in water because it would be stinky after a while. Okay, so uh, it says that you can look inside of it. And of course I had to have a stool to get in there, but I did look and um, it says you can remove the top. And I did, it still has water in it. And then you can look on the inside. Well, I'd have to go and get y'all to see but the water is about three-fourths the way down. No, the water is about a fourth the way down. It has three-fourths the way full. I do not see any reason why. I don't think I can lift that up. That would be leaking. And you know, water is about, I'm gonna say eight pounds, just to guesstimate. Seven pounds, eight pounds, and three quarters. I asked Google last night. She gave me one figure that was different than what I used to think it was. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit here for a second. This is our neat little mat that they gave us. However, it got really wet and I sure wouldn't want it to sit there and be stinky before we got, you know. That's nothing, if, if water sits, it will sour. It will, it will. So I gotta make sure this is really dry before I put it back over there. If you're interested in buying a Pro Pure, I certainly encourage you to do so because it's great. You can take creek water if you had to, if you were out camping, and you could pour it through uh, several times, and, and then it would come out where you, you're really good. It takes all the E. coli, all the bacteria, it takes that fluoride, chlorine, so many things. It's the, it's the biggest, uh, it takes out more things than you need, probably, but it tastes really good. Uh, we already had good tasting water, 
here at Round Rock because that's what they're known for is great tasting water. They won many awards for that. But uh, while we're down here, each division has water municipalities that are different. And I guess they all process their water. But I'm always seeing, you know, for not ours, but others, it says, we're having a problem, boil your water. The same thing just not long ago in uh, uh, in Liberty Hill, where's the other one up there? It starts with an L. Leander. They had a water main break. What did they say? Boil your water. Well, if you use this, you won't have to boil your water. Even if you're using the water out of the faucet, you just put it right in and it filtrates and it comes right out. It's really good. Now, it did take, um, they say once you put your water in, to let it run through about two to three times. That way you're letting the, you know, you've got all sorts of stuff in those filters, carbon, uh, charcoal. I mean, I don't know what all is in there, but they're made so that you can filter. And we were watching a guy on YouTube the other day that they were in, uh, I don't even know where they were. I don't know if they were in Malaysia or Guam, but they were building, uh, Philippines, they were building stuff that was from um, earth with just a stick. They built a house, they built all stuff, but he made a filtration system and he put it in and he put rocks and he put gravel and he put other things. He put his charcoal and then the muddy old water, he kept throwing, putting it through and it came out too. So, you know, you can do that and they've been doing it for years. Okay, this feels pretty dry. That is not dry. That is wet. So I'll try that again. I to remove that over there. I sure didn't want water going down underneath my faucet here and down into the bottom under my cabinet. We had lived in a lease house for about 10 years and whenever we had to replace the garbage disposal, it, it had dri dripped underneath there and it was just mush. I mean, it was bad. Didn't even know it. Okay, I'm gonna put that little waffly side down this time and see if that maybe lets it have air. Probably not, because this is gonna be smushing on top of it. I've got really good water in here and I didn't want to pour it out. But I do have, uh, I got, I'm going to show you these. Went to Ikea and they had these little bottles. Now, I've seen lots of water bottles and these are just plain water bottles. They're BPA free. They're, I don't what all they've got they've got many different products and of course they're recyclable but it's just a twist off lid and the lid and it's got a little uh, sealer in there and it has a little holder uh, so you could put it on a whatever those a clip you could wear it on your belt you could hang it on the baby's stroller i mean you could just put it on the hook but it fits in the, the cup holder in the car. And when I sleep, go to bed at night, I actually have two or three bottles of water with me. But this, I can take it with me and it's easier, it's easy to undo and put back. Now, many years ago, I used to put a, a, a carafe and then the glass set on top of it. Well, that's all fine and good, but in the middle of the night, you gotta take the glass off, then you gotta pour it. You know, yeah, I'm still having to unscrew this, but you know, you get pretty used to that pretty quick. Anyway, you're probably not supposed to drink during the night, it makes you get up more. But I like my water with me. I'm a Pisces, and so therefore, we need to be by water, but not water all over our counters. <laughs> okay, I guess I did just overfill it. I was a little bit zealous this morning, 
I use my coffee pot. It's only about five cup coffee pot. So I used it, and then I filled up those two bottles, and I thought, okay, I need some more, you know. Obviously, I did not need any more, and I don't think I'm leaking anywhere. I think what it did is it just, from here, it went into there and just went over. So, hopefully, because I didn't want to send my broke ear back. Okay. Okay, we are all dry. My spout's where it's hanging over so I can put my cup under it if I need to. Ouch. I should bring that a little bit more closer. Oh, not this way. I'll tell you what, if you've got a hernia, you don't want to do that too often, do you? Makes everything decide, doesn't it? Come here. Okay, now, is that going to be where I could turn it off and on? I guess so. So the tip is on the Pro Pure, do not overfill. They do sell a glass uh, tube that attaches here so that you can see the water level into there. And I'm beginning to think. That is a really good idea, but it was like 40 plus dollars and I got out and scratched it in, so I definitely didn't want to spend any more money than I had to. All right, I think we're back in business. So just remember, don't overfill it. Kind of, my daughter says if you tap on it, you can tell where the water is. Well, okay, so that's empty, but maybe that's full. They sound about the same to me. I mean, they're not exactly, but about the same. Okay. Pro-Pure. They sell them at Amazon. They sell them at Pro-Pure website, which... I'm not sure what that is. Oh, somebody at my front door. But I hope y'all get one. It's really, really good. I really enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.